right, folks. Here it is. Let's play some Black Ops Zombies. Black Ops 2 today. Try to go nitty gritty. Bare bones. As close to knocked here on Totem as we can get to on Black Ops 2, which is the Bus Depot. My God. I hope this is nostalgic for his, the rest of you. It is for me. This is this is unbelievable. Uh, it's been so bloody long. Oh my god. Yeah, well, that's just nice. Nice way to start it off, eh? Double hit by the first two motherfucking zombie bitches. Well, I can see this is probably going to get turned into a meme. Hopefully not, there's not much to it. Jesus Christ, let's do this again. This is fucked. Too long, man, I'm telling you, it's that two hit system. Black Ops 3 made it too easy for us, guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Ah, the music. The music. I just want to apologize in advance for the shitty audio, the shitty video. I'm going to try and upgrade equipment later on. Uh, hopefully, I can get it sooner than later. Because I'd really like to get a good setup going. Uh, I've been very influenced to get into doing this content creation shit. Uh, shout out to some of the zombies community outgoers there, uh, like Mr. T. Lexify, Noah. Milo, Mr. Rocket Waffles, you know him, uh, Mr. Delic JD, Codename Pizza, Greg FPS, if I'm forgetting anyone, I'm sorry, but you're all awesome. Uh, this is something I've been really influenced to do, so uh, hopefully I can get better at it, and uh, hopefully I can get some more subscribers, more watchers. I'm not asking you to subscribe, obviously, but if you want, why not? Leave a like if you want. I don't give a shit. Leave a dislike, a comment. Doesn't have to be nice. I got a good sense of humor. And eventually I want to get a Twitch, do some live streaming. Obviously, this is just a uh, bare bones attempt here, not just at the zombies map, but um, at the content itself. Uh, obviously, I haven't made no script or nothing. Uh, terrible quality video. Uh, I do apologize again for that. Um, hopefully, it will get better. I'm just... Uh, I'm, I'm just not sure what else to say, but I'm just, uh, I'm just excited to be playing Black Ops 2 again, you know? Um, in the comments, if you want to see me play anything else, of course, I got a GameCube, PS2, Xbox 360, you can bust out the classics, uh, give me some suggestions, I'll let you know if I have them or not, if I do, I'll, I'll give them a go. Uh, any other zombies content you want me to do, drop a map, drop a game. I just don't have Black Ops 4 or World at War, sorry, um, Cold War yet. I apologize. Until I get those, uh, it'll be World at War, Black Ops 1, 2, and 3. Which isn't too bad, those are obviously the best ones. And I would argue to anyone else who wants to say different. Of course, Black Ops 4 isn't without its flaws. It was still, in its own right, I suppose, a masterpiece. To the storytelling, uh, it, it, it was a nice, it was a nice ending. That's for sure. Tag your Toten's ending cutscene is awesome. I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, definitely brought tears to my eyes, right? You grow up with these characters for so long, for many years, you know? 
I mean, I was, I was 13 when World at War came out. I mean, back in 2008, that was that was incredible, right? And I'm sure you're just like the rest, sir. The rest of you are just like me when it came to the end of the campaign and you got brought to knock there on Tolton for the first time. It, it, it blew my mind, man. It blew my fucking mind. I could not believe that there was going to be such... such a game mode where I would be so attached to and... Even today, to this day, it's still my favorite game mode of all time. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about zombies, if it's your favorite, if you just mildly enjoy it. And what you thought of it when you first seen it. How old are you? What was the first zombies map or game that was introduced to you? When it came to zombies, I would like to know, that's for sure. I'm getting a little distracted here. I'm going to play some games. I do apologize. I'm going to try and get better at talking and playing. But for now... Let's slay some of these um, bitches. Stay away, stay away from the fire. Now, as much as I love these mini maps, I wish I wish they were a little more expansive. I wish they had mini Easter eggs, at least uh, songs to find. That would have been nice, something to pass the time with. But then again, this is what it's all about, right? People play these kinds of maps for the bare bones, uh, uh, masochistic style, right? That's what you want. When you play a map like this, you're dependent on wall weapons and box luck. And of course, your own skills to maneuver. Knowing when and when not to reload. All the obvious goo -ga. Five seven, yes, please. Any of you watching now really enjoy bare bones zombies? Let me know what was the highest round you got in a bare bones zombies map, such as Knock There on Toten. I would even suggest for Ruck to be somewhat bare bones, minus the uh. The power and you know the for the traps and the uh, the perks obviously, but you can always do your own bare bones style on any map with just going without perks, choosing just box, or even challenge yourself not to use the box. Go for just wall weapons, which is to be honest a better idea anyway. You can always buy ammo for a wall weapon. You can't buy ammo for every box weapon, right? Which is unfortunate, but it's just the nature of the beast. It's what makes the game challenging, it's what makes it fun. If it was easy, then fuck everyone would be doing this. Not to say that I'm good, I'm terrible, you're here. <laughs> I'm sure you already can tell. Too many years. Too many years away from this stuff. Oh, that was just fucking awful. I don't even think I hit him once. Oh, uh, Willish, into the fire. Into the fire. By the way, guys, if you're into uh, zombies or even just YouTube zombies, anything Call of Duty, uh, let me know if you have a favorite zombies YouTuber down below in the comments. I would like to hear that as well. Uh, I'm going to try and read as many and get back to as many comments as possible. Oh, monkey bombs, fuck. Yes. Not to try and pick favorites, but one of my favorites, of course, I, of course I'm trying to pick favorites here. What the fuck am I trying to say? My favorite zombies YouTuber, I gotta say, is probably Mr. T. Probably a tie between him and the Smith Plays. Not to have a biased opinion just because they're also Canadian. Aw, oh, fuck's sakes. There we go, look at me. Right in my big fucking mouth instead of playing the game. Okay. I think I'm gonna give it one more attempt. I'm gonna try another map. 
Possibly Mob of the Dead. That is one of my favorites. That is one of my favorites. Also, Crazy Rabbit, if you ever get a chance to hear this, you're not the only bald zombies guy anymore. Bald Brothers Unite, man. Uh, don't take that as a racial thing, anyone. That, that, that's not... <laughs> it's... <laughs> no, you, you gotta understand, uh, bald men gotta have this unspoken bond like guys with beards, you know? Which I also happen to have. Crazy rabbit. You gotta get on growing that beard, man. Come on. You got all those guns, all those muscles. You should have a beard by now. What the fuck? You're missing that one toad as a man. That one totem item as a man. You're missing the beard. That's all you need, buddy. Come on. Get that fucking roll game going if you need. Go to the doctor. Get some fucking hair growth fucking serum or something on your face. <laughs> ah. Oh, you're great, though, man. I love you. I love you all, you're awesome. Okay, yeah, fuck that. Let's go for the Olympia. I almost never touch the Olympia. Just for reload purposes, obviously, it's just terrible. But in high er, early rounds, obviously, it's great up until like round eight, even if you're good enough with it. You can stay, keep your distance away from the zombies and train them a little. Uh, it can still be a useful weapon up until round eight, I'd say. If you're good enough, that is. Not that I'm going to be uh, demonstrating any any skill today. Or ever. Let's, uh, who knows. I might just be one of those basic bitches, you know. One of those basic bitches. By the way, obviously, because it's early into my channel, this is my first official video, I would say. That last one, the New Vegas one, that's just more or less a me being, well, under the influence, let's say. And while under the influence, I thought it would be funny to try and reenact a meme, and yet I got it wrong anyway. Quite embarrassing. Quite embarrassing indeed, I say. Fuck, you guys hear about that YouTuber Azers? No! Oh, oh my god, here we go again. I'm talking too much, getting off track. I'm gonna have to start practicing before I record, guys. I'm just so embarrassed. <laughs> uh, okay. You know what? Fuck Mob of the Dead. Let's... Oh, fuck Die Rise, too. Uh, no. That one for obvious reasons, but Mob of the Dead. I've been... I played that one a lot back in the day. Let's... Uh, let's see. I'm not playing trans shit. Not playing trans shit whatsoever. Ah... Uh, no, uh, Nuketown Poo Poo, man. Come on. Oh, okay. You know what? Since I'm a casual, let's go for Buried. I still need to get an achievement. Pack a punch a weapon before round two. You know, I'm still on round one. Uh, you need the Paralyzer right away. You need good box luck. Uh, you also need good luck with the witches. You cannot lose a single dime of your points, or you will not be able to get the achievement. It's a pain in the ass, and I've been trying it for at least two years now. Every time I lose my box luck, I lose my shit. <laughs> Skip that fucking cutscene. I've watched you too many times as well. Best cutscene, Origins. Change my mind, motherfuckers. I'm just kidding, y'all ain't motherfuckers. Unless you know my mama. You fucking my mama. 
God damn. I get the feeling the only are going to be in the undead variety. You know, I really did enjoy this map as well when it first came out. I mean, holy fuck, guys. It's... It, it's just such a great atmosphere. I do enjoy it. The fact that you can get out from underneath as well. You don't have to stay down here. You can go back up and challenge yourself as well in the starting room. Which is awesome. Paralyzer, paralyzer, paralyzer. Uh, by the way, if you guys want any challenges to get better at zombies, I recommend... Watching videos from guys like Tim Hansen, Crazy Rabbit, Noah, J456, Mr. Raffle Waffles. They got some pretty good tutorials and uh, some good advice on how to train yourself to get better. I've been watching a few and it has been helping. I think it's just the fact that uh, I've kind of put myself on the spot here. I'm not doing so well, but excuses, excuses, right? Okay. Look at the paralyzer, give me. Oh, yay, something decent. Well, that's step number one for high rounds. High round run right there. Oh, that's weird. Did you see that? I shot one zombie, the other one dropped. I don't. Yeah, what the fuck? That's weird. I get that all the time on last gen BO3. <laughs> on the giant map, the stairway. To the pack a punch machine is cursed. The window parallel to the power switch on the giant is cursed. What else is cursed on that map? And all of the uh, the gobble gum machine on the other side of the wall of the power fu fucking power switch is also cursed. I'm telling you, man. Last gen, they just obviously they didn't put a lot of effort into it, right? Uh, they had to make BO3 for the 360, the Xbox One, PS3, PS4, and PC. So I don't blame them for not putting their money into the old gen versions. But still, it would have been nice to have a little more to it. But, I mean, I guess that's my fault for not having money to get an Xbox One, right? <laughs> By the way, I'm still playing on a 360 right now. I'm just going to skip Xbox One altogether. Fuck that whole generation go straight to the Series X. I think that's just uh, the best idea. Obviously, I'm going to save money. I'm a fairly patient guy, so uh, I don't mind. Still, I've grown up with lots of these games I'm going to be playing on this channel. So don't get me wrong. It's not like I haven't grown up and played these games when they first came out. It's just that only in the last... In the last four and a half years, I finally got myself a 360 and then lots of games, about 60 games, classics, catching up on all of it and playing some new ones I've never played before. So if you guys have any suggestions for uh, new games as well, for the Series X or even just Xbox One games that I've totally missed out on, please let me know. Fuck the SMR. Uh, I am open to suggestions. Uh, I love RPGs, such as uh, Skyrim, Fallout, you know, anything Elder Scrolls, obviously. I can't wait for Elder Scrolls 6. That's going to be epic. Uh, I should worry about getting some points here, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm running out on points. I'm just disappointing myself today, man. Just disappointing myself today. Look at this. I'm just terrible right now. I don't... Maybe I did put myself on the spot. Or maybe I'm just that bad. I only have moments of clarity when I'm alone. And no one's watching me. Like most people, of course. Murphy's laws, it is. Anything bad that can happen will happen. How much did I leave in the bank since the last time I was here? Oh my god. Uh, how much 
just like fucking holy shit. Man, no fuck. How much did I fucking leave in here? Oh my god. Wow. It, it just keeps going. Over 50. Holy shit, 53,000. Probably 51,000. Sorry, yeah. 53,000. 53,800. I think it was 53,800. I think I had 20 points after I opened the uh, door of the bank. Uh, do go back in the comments and let me know. Um, you know what? Never mind. Brain fart. I was just about to repeat myself. Let's fucking... Let's rape the box. Let's rape the box, everybody. Oh my god. You know what? I'm already set for high rounds. I got the hammer, I got the ray gun, I got the monkey bombs. I just need perks. Oh man. You guys ever seen The Odd Couple? I'm not talking about like any remake, I'm talking the original The Odd Couple. Well, well, man, I love classic shows. I'm not sure about you guys, but I've always preferred old cinema. Anything from the 50s, 60s, 70s, especially the 70s. Okay, let's see. It's, uh, I just always find that 70s movies, they have this strange atmosphere. Sort of like... Sort of like I'm trapped in a ghetto downtown alley in Chicago or something. And that, I don't know, it makes me feel comfortable to be around that kind of an atmosphere, to be witnessing that kind of an atmosphere. It just feels natural. Maybe it's because I grew up in Winnipeg, Manitoba. It's kind of like... Chicago and New York, but way more gray. Way more gray. RPG crew, everybody. Let's go, RPG game. Okay, let's go, um... Let's go Rainbow Perk Challenge here. I want to get some stamina, speed cola, and obviously, I want to get myself... Oh, okay, I need to get some fucking dudes up. If I need to get myself some quick revive, because I will most likely not survive. Just a second, gotta check the battery on my camera. Sorry, it's uh.